Here we go. Alright guys, here I am with another video for you guys today with some more tips and just some advice on how to play. I, I'm playing Rush on uh, Grand Bazaar here, rocking the uh, the support kit. I don't really play Rush uh, that often because uh, there, there's so much lack of teamwork in this game, but the, you know, whatever. I haven't played Rush in a while, I was playing Rush, I felt like putting up some footage from Rush. So I'm using the uh, support kit here mostly because I'm trying to work on my C4 kills to try to get that camo for the PKP. So I gotta keep destroying some vehicles. So, um, trying to do my best here to help out. We've uh, completely lost uh, A already. I don't know, no, nobody apparently was over there because that thing was swarmed with enemies. And uh, trying to go to B, but people in their smalls. Apparently I didn't duck away from that quick enough. And then this guy uh, is perfectly hitting behind some carpets. So, that's that. Uh, I'm rocking the L86. I, in my opinion, probably second, if not, you know, best weapon in the support kit next to the M27 IAR. The this thing is so great. Just think of it. It is an L85 with a, a bigger clip and less chance of running out of ammo in a firefight. But it is so great. It's so accurate. It, it's to me, in my opinion, it's probably the best gun. And the only one that can, can you know, compare or come close to would be the M27. And I just like this because, I don't know, I just like the the, the assault rifle version of it so much that, you know, it, I just think of it as its bigger brother that packs a whole lot more uh, ammo. But uh, as I watch my teammates pick each other up and die all the time here, I'm kind of waiting to, you know, not be one of them and get shot up those stairs so we can try to get around. It's so funny to watch this stuff sometimes because it's like they they, they they look helpless and like they really don't know what's going on. So I I love watching and sitting back and watching sometimes all the stupid shit that happens. And uh, I kind of managed to get behind a couple of them here. I, I kind of messed up. I I should have kept I should have took this kid out instead of trying to hide here and trying to get my kill with the goddamn you know C4s in the tank that was like right behind me. But you know, I was being greedy. Uh, we actually managed to hold these guys off. I'm surprised, you know, since they were able to take the first two crates so easily that we were able to keep them just at these crates. But uh, I, I don't think we're making, you know, a lot of a push or enough of a push. Uh, oh, there, you know, I, I had to get my kill in there. I usually commit suicide, but I managed to get away this time. And uh, there's enemies around. I'm gonna put some suppressing fire on. I, I don't really see where he's from, but. I got some assists, screw it, and we're keeping them away. Uh, I had played a game of Rush before this, when I was actually the attacker instead of the defender, and uh, all that I saw on my map were people with freaking mobile spawns everywhere, the and T-Uggs, and all they were doing was sniping. I, I managed to get to the B crate, right? Uh, is that B crate? No, it's an A crate. I managed to get the A crate and plant one time. And everyone else, they did. I, I got killed obviously because everyone, all the enemy came on to, to the crate. But there, there was no one there to, you know, to, to cover me for support. You know, to kill these guys off before they got to the crate and disarm. They were all just back there out. sniping. So I, I don't know if it's that they're trying to, Take you know, out, get kills with these things or trying to do assignments or whatnot. But it's, you know, there's an objective to the game. I mean, this, this is an action. There's just shit to be done here. This isn't just running around getting kills. This isn't, I mean, you can get away with that on Conquest, you know, because the maps are pretty big and, you know, all you have to really do is hold down the flag as much as you can. And there's only, you know, you're spending going back and forth. But here, you actually have to move forward. I mean, I, dude, I was so, it was so bad that I went in there with the tank and one of my teammates and we actually planted it. And they blew up the tank after I planted it. They actually, no, they didn't blow up the tank. They actually took the tank from me because when I got out to try to plant it, there was, there was no teammates there. So they repaired the damn tank, and then what? They had the tank, and there was no way we were getting back at that flag. So this, it was just so... It's one of the reasons why I stopped playing this for a while. Because if you don't have a squad, or you're, you don't have a nice group of friends who can actually get on here and have a full squad, 
with this, you know, three other people to back you up, it's gonna be pretty hard to, you know, play this game properly. It's objectives. If you're going in for the plant, you're gonna need someone to cover you. If you're going in this arm, you're gonna need someone to cover you. And most people play this just to get kills. They'll just camp around corners or they'll set up on a mountain and just start sniping the whole game. And that gets so annoying. Because when you're actually trying to win the game, like, you know, who wants to go into a game to lose? I want to go in, I want to plant my objectives, take my flags, and, you know, win. And I'm not trying to stay there and, you know, get spawn camped if I'm playing Conquest at my spawn. Or in here, not make it past the first freaking set of crates. It's so retarded. I don't understand why. Uh, the three feet. I love that gun. But, I mean, it's... It's pretty much the reason why I do these videos. Like I, I, I saw someone comment on, on on one of the videos or one of my posts or something like that. That you know the videos weren't very entertaining, and you know it's you know pretty much basic. And what I should be doing okay, is going around annoying the hell out of people, trolling them and shit like that. I'm like I don't want no one doing that to me. So why would I go out and do that to anybody? If anything, I want people to you know watch the way I play and watch that they, you know there's an objective to be played and you can still get a decent amount of kills because I rarely ever go negative and I'm always at least three to one ratio or two to one ratio. So I definitely get my kills in and there's still things to do, but I, I don't understand like. Why would anyone want to go around harassing people? I mean, it, if you want to do that, go play like Grand Theft Auto or something where that's the whole point of the game. And I don't know how the hell that tank knew I was waiting for him there, but whatever. He somehow got me. But <clears throat> the points of my videos have always been either to inform or to give some sort of tip or maybe just to put out the way I play and complain and bitch about the way other people play so maybe they'll start playing better. Now, I want a decent game. It always seems that the team that I get spawned on most of the time is the, the team that's always just jerking off in the background and slacking. And I don't need that. Look at that. Random twofer. Beautiful. Hot potato. So, that, that's my, my videos are always going to be like this. Letting you know how to play, what to do, you know, if it's how to hold a flag, if it's how to keep people away from your, your MCOM. Or, you know, is it teaching you uh, how to get an assignment or, how you know, what's so good about this weapon? What makes it better than any other weapon in the class? That's, that's what my videos are always going to be. They're going to be informative. Uh, I might have something to talk about as a certain day, like I guess I did today, about the comment that was made about the type of videos that I make. But most of the time, it's just to inform. That, I mean, I don't feel that there's someone out there actually teaching or, you know, giving examples of how, the you know, a good gameplay would be. Or what good teamwork would be because this this is a team based game it's not like most of the other games where you can just run around and gun solo and all you have to do is get kills like there's an objective here if you don't get that objective done then all all of that was for nothing all right but whatever that was my little rant hope you guys took something from this whether it be that uh you should play as a team that the L86 is good, or that uh, you should not be suicidal with C4s, but I hope you take something away from this, and uh, post, comment, let me know, rant with me, <laughs> whatever, just, uh, you know, like a favorite if you like it, if you want to see more, alright guys, well, have a good weekend, and uh, later.